This story with Lazarus and the rich man has not happened yet. It is still yet to happen because both Lazarus and the rich man are dead. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're back on another episode of The Voice of the Verses. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You you know, hit all them buttons that you gotta hit. This is the Lazarus and the Rich Man. This is a continuation from the video that I did before. Nobody's going to heaven. You need to watch that video before you come and watch this one, okay? Um, if you didn't, the link is gonna be inside of the description. So we're not gonna waste any time, any more time. Let's get straight into this, okay? Lazarus and the Rich Man, let's get it. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and feared scrumptiously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in his flame. But Abraham said, Son, Remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted and thou art tormented. Let's pause right there. That should be a lesson to a lot of you guys out there today. You carry on with your life, live your life, have all the fun that you want to have. Because it's going to become a time when stuff is going to be flipped on his head and the people who were suffering in this world for the righteousness of God is going to be flourishing in that kingdom. And the people who was flourishing in this world off of wickedness, they're going to be punishing in that kingdom. And when they try to ask for help, ain't nobody going to help them. Because even God says that people pray in hell when hell exists. Hell does not exist yet. But people pray in hell, but nobody answers their prayers. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed. A gulf fixed. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us which would come from thence. So that must be some golf. I'm going to quote my teacher on this one, brother boy. You mean to tell me that this rich man look all the way from a hole in the ground, look past the second heaven where the planets and the moons and the stars are, look past the body of water that separate the second heaven from the third heaven where God is, and he saw Abraham and Lazarus. If he didn't watch the lesson that I did on how God created the earth, the link is going to be inside of the description as well. Go and watch it if you don't understand what I'm saying. There's three heavens. But what stands out here is that there's a gulf. Do you know what a gulf is? Uh, here's a drawing of what a gulf is. Yeah, I made that drawing. That is a gulf. That is on earth. You could see that that is earth. And he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Sunday Christians, I need y'all to pay close attention to this. Y'all say that the Ten Commandments is done away with. The Old Testament is done away with. Why is Abraham telling this guy they have Moses and the prophets? The Old Testament is made up of the law and the prophets joined together. Moses and the prophets, the law and the prophets. That's how you get the Old Testament. According to Abraham, the Old Testament is enough to give you salvation, right? Think about that. And he said, nay, Father Abraham... But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded the one rose from the dead. I just want y'all to hear that. Abraham is telling this guy, If they don't hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded the one rose from the dead you know why because when god wrote the ten commandments it was finished after that keeping god's commandments is what's going to get you salvation anybody tell you otherwise they don't know the truth the truth is not in them because god said anyone who said that he knows me and keep it not my commandments is a liar and the truth is not in them anyway i'm not going to go on ranting this story of lazarus and the rich man is a popular story that they used to say that people are in heaven i already 
showed you the video on people not going to heaven click the link and watch it so we're going to examine this because in the last video i said that no man is going to heaven jesus said no man has ascended up to heaven and jesus is not a liar so let's examine this and see what is going on here why is this story here let's go to isaiah 66 for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire so this is the end times we're talking about this hasn't happened yet for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many you're gonna kill a lot of people people he's going to kill a lot of people you that in church you don't hear these words no more you don't hear that god is going to kill you if you don't keep his ten commandments you don't hear those stuff no more it's all about love 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 but it said that the slain of the lord shall be many everybody you talked about the word of god they said oh it's all about love oh i'm doing too much but look at this god that you talk, that that you continuously lie on let me fix my sentence properly the whole world lies on jesus they don't even know him he's going to kill a lot of people it's in the bible read it for i know their works and their thoughts it shall come that i will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and see my glory so after he finished killing all these people he's going to gather all nations and tongues and they're going to come and see his glory where is his glory going to be shown from zion because he said from zion shall go forth the law zion is jerusalem people think that they're going to heaven that is a rapture you're not getting raptured off remember i told you nobody's not going to heaven god is going to bring you after he finished killing these wicked people he's going to bring the rest of you up to jerusalem and let me show you what you're going to see when you go up there and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me said the lord wow christians pay attention to this he said from one new moon to another and from one what sabbath to another because y'all keep saying that god's sabbath day is done away with but when jesus come back and he finished killing these people he's gonna gather the rest of the people that he leave alive along with israel and then he gonna bring them up to jerusalem and tell them hey let me tell you something easter done christmas done sunday done so we keep in the ten commandments because the ten commandments abides forever god said one jot or one tittle shall not be removed from the law until all be fulfilled anyway i always gotta stop myself from ranting because if you allow me i will talk all day let's read this scripture and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me for they worms shall not die neither shall their fire be quenched and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh do you see what's going on here so when jesus look we following what we just read so what we just read here what we get in here is that after jesus come back with fire and he's angry he's gonna the, the slain of the lord is gonna be many he's gonna kill a lot of people then he's gonna gather the people that remain and then he's gonna bring them up and then they're going to look over into the lake of fire because they said they're going to look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me for their worm shall not die so who are these men that are in here this is not happening in heaven this is happening on earth so let's go and find out we can't use our own opinion so let's find out who these guys are that are you know that um that the nations is going to look at after jesus finished coming back and killing all these people revelations 19 11 and i saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he both judge and make war his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself so this is jesus we're talking about and he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean now these are the angels coming down behind jesus and i saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army christians don't know this this beast that's gonna come is gonna be so delusional that he's gonna actually believe that he could fight jesus when jesus come back with all them angels so if he believed that he could fight jesus what do you think he's gonna do to you so why aren't you researching about him why isn't your pastor teaching you about this guy if this guy is gonna be so wicked think about it guys and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before him 
with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So these are the guys that the nations is going to go up and look at after Jesus come back and the slain of the Lord is going to be many. So we just read from the Bible what God is going to do when he come back. And then we just read to find out who these people are. So these men are going to be so wicked that Jesus is going to keep, grab them and throw them into the lake of fire on his way down. He's not even going to let them stand in judgment. Because these guys are going to be the guys who's going to kill people like me for the truth. Right now, I'm a threat to people like that. You know why? Because I'm bold about the word of God. And I have a voice. And I speak. I speak, thus saith the Lord. Not thus saith Trey. Not thus saith Trevon. Thus saith the Lord. I'm reading the book. And it's going to cut them to the heart. Just like it cut a lot of you preachers. It cuts you out to the heart because you're already prepared. But you don't know it. And you're subconsciously preparing the church. You don't even know. You are preparing the church for this beast worship. Starting from Sunday. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to do another lesson on that. We see here that in the end time, God is going to come. He's going to kill a lot of people. Then he's going to gather the nations. Then they're going to go up and look over and see these men in the lake of fire. And then we just read who these men are going to be. These men are going to be the beast and the false prophets. So the beast and the false prophet are going to be the first people to get into the lake of fire. Where is Lazarus? Where is the rich man? They haven't made it in there as yet because hell does not exist as yet. Hell is going to exist when them guys get thrown into the lake of fire because they're going to be the first one to get thrown into the lake of fire. When them guys get thrown into the lake of fire, hell is in existence and the nations is going to go up and look at them. But Lazarus and the rich man is still dead at that time because the white throne judgment didn't come. Oh, you don't want to believe me? Let's read. Let's read. Look what it says here. Revelations 20. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. You see what I was saying in that last video? If you make the first resurrection, not rapture, if you make the first resurrection, God, Jesus is going to raise up his people, the people who he chose to specifically raise up from the dead when he comes back to reign with him during the 1000 year millennium reign. It's going to have flesh and blood people in the 1000 year millennium reign because people are going to still be alive when Jesus come. But after the 1000 year millennium reign, the father's kingdom is going to come. Thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The father's kingdom is going to come to earth. Then the books is going to be open. So after Jesus come first and clean up the earth from all this false doctrine that y'all are teaching then the father is gonna come to the earth do you understand what i'm saying jesus have to come and clean up this whole earth he already came and died so now we got to come back here and rule y'all and teach y'all the right way because you have not been taught the right way you have not been taught the ten commandments you have not been taught about god's feast days you know about christmas easter and going to heaven so who you think have to teach you about the truth we when we reign with christ a thousand years do you understand what i'm saying anyway let me stop let me stop let's let's stay on topic please and i saw a great white throne and him that sat upon it for whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and there was found no place for them because i told you remember when, when the father's kingdom come down, he ain't going to be no more heavens. That's what I told you. Nobody going to heaven because when God come down, heaven is done away with. There ain't going to be no more heaven. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. All them old things is going to pass away. So people cannot be in heaven. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book according to their works. You see what I've been saying? It's coinciding with what I've been saying all the time. The books is going to be open past the 1000 year millennium reign. Then you're going to be raised up from the dead and then you're going to be judged. Not a moment before and not a moment after. Do you see how everything is connecting? 
when you actually read the Bible, do you see how everything connects and it makes sense? And you don't follow your own opinion and you don't listen to people. You just read the scripture for what it is. All right. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to his works. They love to say you don't need to do no more works. Christ did it all for you. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Look at what this book telling you. Every man will be judged according to their works. Keep God's commandments and stop playing. But look what it says here. It says, and death and hell delivered up the dead. Remember, remember when I told you that hell is translated from the word shuel, which means grave. So now you see, you got knowledge, right? It makes sense now. And death and the grave delivered up the dead. So when it says death and hell delivered up their dead, it means death and the grave gave up the dead so people are gonna raise from the dead you see how it makes sense right and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire you see so this is gonna happen after the 1000 year millennium reign christ is going to come down and not rapture you he's going to kill all of these wicked people then he's gonna gather you he's gonna gather israel the hundred of fire the four thousand from the tribe of israel jehovah witness got this messed up the hundred of fire the four thousand from the tribe of israel then there's an innumerable amount of people that god is going to gather that's the adoption the adoption is going to happen in the 1000 year millennium reign jesus is going to adopt the rest of the sons of adam jesus is not only going to save israel because everybody else is going to become israel you know why because israel is not just a word israel is god's name israel is one of god's name that's why when jacob was wrestling with the angel and then the angel said let me go and then jacob said i will not let you go until you bless me and then the angel said what is your name and then he said my name is jacob and then the angel said your name shall no longer be called jacob but israel that's when god adopted jacob and we came out of jacob israel came out of jacob so we are the true children of god because we have been adopted how do you become children of a spirit you need to be adopted because we are flesh and blood god is a spirit being god is eternal we need to be adopted into his family spirit beings cannot procreate that's why god have to adopt you but you need to follow his 10 commandments and this is what people don't understand god is going to adopt the rest of the world in the 1000 year millennium reign but anyway i'm ranting i'm so sorry guys i'm so sorry i just you ever have so much things inside of your head that sometimes a lot just slip out i can't stick to one topic i'm sorry this is about lazarus and the rich man what i'm trying to prove to you guys is that this story with Lazarus and the rich man has not happened yet. It is still yet to happen because both Lazarus and the rich man are dead. They are in their grave right now. They are in hell. Sure. Well, this thing that happens with Lazarus and the rich man is going to happen in the future because Abraham is dead. Everybody else is dead. So this story here is not a parable. It's a true story. The Lazarus and the rich man story is a true story, but it has not happened yet because the beast and the false prophet is going to be the first people to get cast into the lake of fire. And then after the 1000 year millennium reign, then the father's kingdom is going to come and then he's going to raise everybody else that didn't make the first resurrection. Then he's going to open the book and he's going to judge all of them. That's when the rich man get cast into the lake of fire. And that's when Lazarus is in Abraham's bosom. And that's when that's going to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is in the future, guys. If you don't understand me, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, guys, before we go, I have two more scriptures that I forgot to add into the first lesson because I was so full up. So I'm going to share it with you now. This is very important scriptures. Pay attention to it. It's in Ecclesiastes. <laughs> guys, my battery had died on me. But anyway, let's read these last scriptures before we go. Look what it says. It's very important. Ecclesiastes 9. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. 
neither have they any more reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. This scripture here contradicts what people teach in church today. My mother in heaven, my father looking down, smiling on me. If they're smiling on you, that means that they're displaying emotion. That means that they could feel. That means that they could love. That means that all this stuff could happen. And that contradicts a lot of other stuff because you could be, let's say you die and go to heaven. If that was to happen, you look down and see that your daughter is being abused by an abusive husband or your daughter is getting raped or somebody is trying to sleep with your husband or your wife after you dead or your sister is actually the one who actually killed you so now all of a sudden you upset in heaven because now you look down and find out that your wife been cheating on you with you brother all the time she was just waiting for you to die and now you upset in heaven and now you have a problem in heaven do you see how all these stuff i mean this stuff isn't real but i'm just saying people are not made to go to heaven live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity which he had given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity for that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun whatsoever thine hand find it to do do it with thy might for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether thou goest you see that there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether thou goest when you die there is no wisdom in the grave because the dead knows nothing when you're dead you are in hell you don't know nothing you are in the grave you're dead you're in a state of sleep do you understand what i'm saying this is beautiful when you accept it the truth is hard to accept but when you do your life becomes easier stuff becomes more easier to understand and that is what happened with me guys i was once stubborn i wasn't always like this but then when i accepted the truth and i realized that i'm not fighting against the people but i'm fighting against god and i'm just like the people i'm no different from the people in the past who was fighting against jesus but they didn't know that he was the christ until after they killed him that's when i made the change so let me ask you all a question i'm gonna finish this with a question whenever you die what happens comment like and subscribe i want to see in the comment section what happens when you die have a nice day guys